Decentralized Finance, DeFi, explained. Imagine a world where you don't need a bank to send, receive, or even borrow money. A system where your financial freedom isn't controlled by governments, banks, or middlemen. That world already exists, and it's called Decentralized Finance, or DeFi. But here's the big question, is DeFi the future of money, or just another risky bubble waiting to burst? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how DeFi works, how people are making serious money with it, and the hidden dangers you must avoid. Before we dive in, let me know in the comments, have you ever used a DeFi platform before? Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of crypto and finance. What is DeFi? At its core, DeFi is a revolutionary financial system built on blockchain technology. Unlike traditional finance, where banks and institutions control your money, DeFi gives you full control. It replaces banks with smart contracts, self-executing code that automates financial transactions. Think about it. Want to borrow money? No need for a bank loan. Want to earn interest? No need for a savings account. Want to trade assets? No need for a stockbroker. With DeFi, you can lend, borrow, trade, invest, and earn passive income, all without a middleman. But how does it work? How does DeFi work? DeFi operates on blockchain networks like Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Solana. These networks run decentralized applications, dApps, that offer financial services. Some of the biggest platforms include Uniswap, a decentralized exchange for trading crypto. Aave and Compound, platforms where you can lend and borrow crypto. MakerDAO, a system that lets you create stablecoins like DAI. Instead of trusting a bank, DeFi relies on smart contracts. These are tamper-proof agreements that execute automatically when conditions are met. For example, if you lend $1,000 worth of crypto to a DeFi protocol, a smart contract ensures you get paid interest, no human interference required. But here's where it gets even more interesting. How people make money with DeFi. Many investors are making huge profits using different DeFi strategies. Here are three of the most popular ways. 1. Yield Farming Think of yield farming like depositing money in a bank, but instead of earning 1% interest a year, you could earn 10%, 50%, or even 100% APY. You deposit your crypto into a DeFi platform. The platform lends it out to borrowers. You earn high interest and sometimes extra rewards in the form of new tokens. 2. Staking some DeFi platforms let you stake your crypto, meaning you lock it up to help secure the network and earn rewards. This works like a dividend-paying stock, but the rewards can be much higher. 3. Liquidity Mining DeFi platforms need liquidity to operate. So, if you provide liquidity by adding funds to a trading pool, you get a share of the trading fees and sometimes even bonus tokens. Sounds like easy money, right? But there's a catch. The risks of DeFi Despite its massive potential, DeFi is not without risks. In fact, many people have lost thousands, sometimes millions, by making the wrong moves. 1. Smart Contract Bugs Since DeFi runs on self-executing code, any mistake in the smart contract can be exploited by hackers. Millions of dollars have been stolen from poorly coded DeFi projects. 2. Impermanent Loss if you provide liquidity to a DeFi pool, your funds can lose value compared to just holding the original assets. This happens when crypto prices change drastically. 3. Rug Pulls and Scams Because anyone can create a DeFi token, scammers create fake projects, pump up their value, and then disappear, leaving investors with worthless coins. So, how do you stay safe while investing in DeFi? How to invest in DeFi safely? To minimize risk, follow these steps. Only use well-known DeFi platforms with a strong reputation. Never invest money you can't afford to lose. Research the project's team and smart contract audits. Diversify your investments instead of putting everything in one DeFi project. The future of DeFi, is this the end of banks? Many experts believe DeFi could replace banks entirely. Imagine a future where loans, payments, and investments all happen instantly on the blockchain, without any middleman taking a cut. However, governments and regulators are trying to control DeFi because it threatens the traditional banking system. 
if governments ban or heavily regulate it, will DeFi still survive? What do you think? Will DeFi replace banks, or will regulations kill it? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video valuable, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more cutting-edge crypto insights. Thanks for watching.